been warned repeatedly that using free public Wi-Fi can put our personal information at risk. But facing a choice of using up our data or connecting with free Wi-Fi, most of us take the gamble. So what is the risk? WBZ's Christina Hager got a lesson from a real-life hacker. The risk for the public networks is because they're out there, they're open, unencrypted, an attacker can join it just as easily as you can. And that's exactly what we did with the help of hacking expert Steve Walker. I can see all the different networks out there, all the different clients, and which one do I want to look like? Wicked free Wi-Fi is available here on the Boston Common, and Steve created his own imposter version with a laptop and small device anyone can buy online. And that didn't take too long. No, it didn't take long at all. Anyone closer to his signal than the one the city is blasting out will only see the fake wicked free Wi-Fi option. And if your device connected to the real system in the past, it could even automatically join this rogue Wi-Fi network. So you just called it the same thing? Yeah. Or is there any slight difference? Nope. While the name is exactly the same, the login page is different. And that's my login okay. page that I gave you. For Steve's fake Wi-Fi, he created these two phishing links to Facebook and Gmail. I could sign in here, and now you know my Facebook password. That's right. Password was Hager. Yeah, C. Hager. That's my name. Steve is seeing every letter as I type it. Could you be a fake business and take someone's credit card information? Yep. And even if you don't fall for the links, once you're connected to the imposter Wi-Fi, he knows your every online move. You're going to Google. Anything I'm reading, you can see what I'm interested in. Yep. This vulnerability can be exposed through any free and open Wi-Fi at coffee shops, stores, airports, hotels, anywhere. There's always a risk when you join any type of public Wi-Fi. If you do join, cyber defense expert Peter Tran recommends turning off any file sharing apps. And for iPhone users, this means AirDrop. And if you're going to be on public Wi-Fi, make sure you're not working with sensitive data or things that you normally would not want to just share with everybody. And before typing in credit card numbers or passwords, look at the address bar and make sure you see this lock, meaning the website is secure. On Steve's fake Google page, the address bar didn't even have that lock. And instead of Google.com, you only see a series of numbers. That's a big red flag. All of this adds up to the reason for this advice. If you don't have to get on public Wi-Fi, don't do it. Christina Hager, WBZ News.